April now being forced to answer questions in the New York City corruption scandal. Sources telling CBS2 the pay to play investigation swirling around public officials, including Mayor de Blasio, has grown. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. The investigation into political donations received by public officials, including Mayor de Blasio, has apparently expanded with sources telling CBS2 that a flurry of subpoenas has been served in the past few weeks on construction and engineering firms doing business with the city and the state. The subpoenas reportedly sought documents, computer records, and checks written for political donations, according to sources familiar with the probe, being mounted by a multi-agency task force. This as Mayor de Blasio said he has cut ties with James Capolino a super lobbyist who raised big bucks for the mayor, met personally with him several times, and had a hand in the controversial Rivington House deal that allowed a nursing home to be turned into luxury condos. I have not been in touch with Mr. Capolino. Um, you know, he going into the morality was someone that I respected and was a friend and someone I had talked to a lot over the years, uh, but I do not have contact with him anymore. Capolino has steered tens of thousands of dollars in donations to the mayor, $50,000 after lobbying for Rivington, $40,000 for de Blasio's re-election campaign, and 10000 to the campaign for One New York, the mayor's controversial nonprofit. Mayor Olade said de Blasio stopped meeting with all lobbyists on April 12th, months after U.S. Attorney Preet Barrera and Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance started probing his affairs. Why invoke the no more lobbyist rule? Because of the uh, atmosphere we're in and the ongoing investigations. Political experts say it doesn't matter if the mayor meets personally with the lobbyists, they still get taken care of. The word spreads in government, who's close to the mayor, who's not. And also, you know, people tend to read campaign finance filings. They know who's given, they know who's not given, and they know who's had access before when their access is stopped. A spokesman for Capolino insisted his team communicates with officials at City Hall and city agencies on a daily basis, but has no need for, quote, direct interaction with the mayor himself. Dana? Marcia, thank you.